What does a black pearl mist filter do? It softly diffuses your image, especially in the highlights, and reduces the overall contrast without markedly losing any of the detail. It's quite common in cinematography and becoming more popular for still photographers. Even if you don't own one, maybe have never used one, you've seen the look before even if you don't know it. It's important to know that this is the very last step in my workflow. The effect always comes last for me. Everything else needs to be finished first on the image. So once you have the background image in Photoshop, go into the Channels tab, Command or Control click RGB. This is the first step in creating a luminosity mask. Go back to the Layers tab, and then Duplicate, Command or Control J. That will provide you a duplicated layer showing only the selection from the channels. That's your highlights. On that selection layer, introduce a Gaussian blur. Depending on how strong you'd like this effect, pixel radius can be adjusted, depending on the highlights and other detail in the image. For this one, I'm going to settle on just a hair over 9 pixels of radius. We're going to apply a few adjustments to each of these layers now. Click on the background layer, go to Adjustments, and then apply a Levels Adjustment. We're going to change the output on the shadows from 0 to 10. That's going to bring the black point up just a little bit and reduce the contrast ever so slightly. Clip that layer using a clipping mask to the background layer so that that levels adjustment is only applied to the background. Now do a similar thing with the selection layer from the RGB channel. Apply a levels adjustment to that layer and we're going to bring the output of the white down from 255 to somewhere in the 240 to 245 range depending on your image. Again, clip that layer to the layer beneath it so that the highlight reduction is only applied to your selection from the RGB channel. Lastly, duplicate the background layer, the original one again, drag that to the very top, apply a very fine high pass filter on there. Uh, I usually like around one pixel of radius for that, it can be more or less depending on how detailed your image is, and then change the blending mode. I'm going to use soft light in this particular instance, but depending on how much detail, what else is happening in your image, you might find that one of the other blending modes works a little more effectively. That's going to bring back some of the original detail that we've lost as part of the diffusion process. And that's it. That's my Black Pro Mist filter simulation in Photoshop. You could make this more complicated if you wanted to by continuing to create a full set of luminosity masks for a wider range of highlight levels. I kept it very simple in this one. It's up to you how complicated you want to make that. Does this look exactly like a Black Pro Mist filter? Probably not, but it's pretty close. And if it's something that you're only planning on doing occasionally rather than all of the time, this might be a worthy way to go about producing this effect.